Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and guys today I have come up with another amazing problem. It's again you can see in the diagram infinite pulleys and springs. So by the way it is uh, an original problem. Uh, guys this video is uh, brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy. And the name of this problem is oscillations of infinite pulleys and uh, springs. In earlier videos, you have seen the infinite pulleys problem and infinite springs also. So here is the combination of uh, these two. And guys, my upcoming courses on an academy will be on modern physics, uh, fluid make, gravitation, waves and thermodynamics and uh, free special classes for J physics at an academy. You can see uh, tomorrow uh, I gave the date of uh, first, but I am not free on uh, today. So tomorrow onwards, these classes will start. And you can check the schedule for these free classes on my profile on an academy or uh, channels community posts. By the way, if you want to study with me on plus, uh, you can use my code Nathan sir and uh, physics will never be the same again. Uh, you can visit for more info on an academy website, which is uh, www.unacademy.com. All right. So here is the statement of this uh, problem. A plank of mass m is connected by a double identical system of infinite pulleys and uh, springs. All the pulleys P1, P2, P3 at up to infinity are massless and smooth. And the springs S1, S2, S3 up till infinity are massless and have stiffness of K. All the strings of the system are massless and inextensible. The system is placed in uniform gravity of G. Find the time period of oscillations. So here is the diagram guys you can uh, see here. So these are the massless pulleys and they are infinite numbers. This plank is connected and double identical system. So exactly mirror of uh, mirror image of that is present other side also. And these S1, S2 are uh, S3 are the springs I have shown by these blocks. Uh, but you can understand these are actually springs. All right. So let's discuss this uh, the concept involved in this. So one very important concept here is uh, the pulley constraint, which is here. Suppose uh, if you have a pulley and uh, two particles are uh, connected with that. And if pulley is moving by a distance of X and uh, one of the particle is moving by a distance of X1 and another particle is moving by a distance of X2, then I can simply write this uh, result as X is equal to X1 plus X2. Guys, this is a very important important result and I'll recommend you to remember this and directly use in the problem wherever you see such type of link in the pulley problems you can always use and if any displacement velocity or acceleration is in opposite direction take that in, uh, take that with the negative sign so i'll just give the small proof of it let's say this is the pulley and this side uh, string length is L1 and this side string length is L2. So when this end is moving down by X1 and this is moving down by X2, the pulley moves by a distance of X. So here in red color, I have shown the new length of the string. Since this end is going by X here, so this end will also move by X and uh, here this particle will reach somewhere here. So this is the new length of the string. This is the new length of the string here. And similarly here, this side, this red line is the new length of the string. I can apply the total length of the string was L1 plus L2. And now the length of uh, this red line is going to be L1 plus X minus X1. Similarly here, L2 is uh, L2 plus X and this part added and this is removed. So L2 plus X minus X2. So when I substitute there, I can get this uh, relation, which I'll be using uh, extensively in this problem. So let's calculate the displacement of uh, block. So I'm removing that block and I'm applying a force of F naught. Now due to that force, let's say the spring K1 is having extension of X1 and K2 is having is extension of X2 and K3 is having extension of X3. So I can simply say this uh, string will have tension of K1 X1. This will have tension of K2 X2 and this will have tension of uh, K3 X3. All right. So by using that pulley constraint, you can see here this end is at rest. All the points are at rest and this one is moving. So I can simply say this pulley must be moving down by a distance of X1 by 2. Same logic I can apply here, which I have derived just now. 
so this end is coming down by x2 and this is coming down by x1 plus x2 so overall this pulley will be moving this x2 plus x1 by 2 divided by 2 all right so similarly i can say here also the displacement of this third pulley i'm taking three uh, mass system and then i will generalize this uh, result so displacement of this third block is nothing but uh, x3 plus uh, x2 plus x1 by 2 by 2 and whole divided by 2 all right so that is going to be your x i'm going to substitute this uh, value here you can see here x1 by 2 cube x2 by 2 square and x3 by 2 is going to come similarly i can generalize this result for n pulleys for n pulleys it is going to be x1 by 2 to the power n x2 by 2 to the power n minus 1 and till infinity i can write this xn by 2 all right now i can balance the forces on uh, each pulley so here you can say the tension here is going to be f naught is equal to 2 k3 x3 f naught is equal to 2 k3 x3 all right i think it is uh, clear to everyone this part similarly if this is k3 x3 that must be equal to 2 k2 x2 here yes so 2 times k3 x3 is equal to 2 k2 x2 at the same time if this tension is k2 x2 that must be double of k1 x1 so i am substituting k2 x2 as 2 times k1 x1 so this kind of result i am going to get so i can find out the value of x1 x2 x3 in terms of f0 so very nice results you are going to get f0 by 2 to the power 3 k1 f0 by 2 square k2 x3 is equal to f0 by 2 k3 I can generalize this result for n pulleys so now i can write for n pulleys this x1 is going to be extension in the first one f0 by 2 to the power n k1 similarly here i can write where n is the number of pulleys here and springs so x2 is f0 by 2 to the power n minus 1 by k2 similarly i can write for nth pulley also that is going to be xn is equal to f0 by 2 kn <coughs> all right so now i can uh, just uh, calculate the k equivalent for uh, three pulley system you can see here i have this relation in terms of x in terms of x1 x2 x3 and also i have the value of x1 x2 and x3 in terms of f0 and k so when i substitute the values here i am going to get this f uh, x is equal to f0 by 2 cube into 2 cube k1 f0 by 2 square into 2 square k2 f0 by 2 into 2 into k3 is going to come now all springs are identical let's use k1 is equal to k2 is equal to k3 otherwise mathematics will be slightly troubling for us so now i can write this f0 is equal to kx i can take outside and this is going to be 1 by 2 into 2 1 by 2 square into 2 square 1 by uh, 2 cube into 2 cube i'm coming from back side so if i add it for three pulleys i'm going to get this uh, answer as uh, uh, the the f0 is equal to 21 by 64 kx now this is the force generated at the end of nth pulley so i can simply say that this is k effective of the system for three pulleys the same process i'm going to do for infinite pulleys as well so when i'm doing that for n pulleys i have this relation which i have derived earlier x is equal to x1 by 2 to the power n x2 by 2 to the power n minus 1 up till xn by 2 and similarly i was having this result x1 is equal to f0 by 2 to the power n k1 similarly i can write for x2 f0 by 2 to the power n minus 1 k2 up to xn when i substitute these values in the first one these values i'm going to substitute in this similar to previous case i did for three springs so you will be getting this x is equal to similar to that previous one you are getting here 3 was there 2 was there and 1 was there because there were 3 turns here n turns are there so f0 by 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n k1 here k2 and those coefficients also you can see now since k1 k2 k3 all are equal i can take that common and i can write x is equal to f0 by k 
वन बै टू इंटू टू वन बै टू स्क्वेर इंटू टू स्क्वेर वन बै टू क्यूब इंटू टू क्यूब अर्लियर ओनली दीज थ्री टर्म्स वर् देर नौ अप टिल हियर सम स्लाइट मिस्टेक इज देर एफ नॉट आई हेव टेकन ऑलरेडी दट पार्ट हेज बीन टेकन कॉमन सो इट विल बी वन इट शुड बी वन हियर ऑल राइट नाउ वी आर just it's a infinite gp for infinite police this term will go up till infinity so here i can write uh, for infinite police f not by k 1 by 4 plus 1 by 16 1 by 64 up till infinity i can write a by 1 minus r so when i simplify i'm going to get uh, 1 by 3 f not by k times 1 by 3 or f not is equal to 3 kx so for one side of system 3kx is the effective spring constant that is what i have written so now if i draw the fbd of this block i can replace the entire system of pulley with the 3kx and 3kx when last block or last pulley is moving by a distance of x so overall restoring force you can see on this system is uh, 6kx minus sign is due to kinematics of restoring force so this k effective is 6k in overall this system so time period of this i can simply write t is equal to 2 pi under root of m by 6k and this is the answer final answer for this problem i hope guys you have enjoyed this problem because i enjoyed it completely in yesterday's class discussion if you remember some of you probably will remember that i i had a discussion of the similar concept so then i just modified we did for uh, three pulleys and uh, from there i modified it for uh, n pulleys and then i took the mirror image of it so that's how this problem was uh, framed i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it please uh, share this problem with others and uh, uh, give a like and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thanks for watching it